think that any patient who snores, who wakes up tired, who feels like they're not getting a good night's rest, I think uh, may need to see an uh, ear, nose, and throat doctor. And uh, one of the more common things that I do for those uh, people is to evaluate their nasal airway. And uh, then if they are a candidate for this procedure, then, we, uh, then that's what we do. I'm having the procedure done mainly to help my breathing, which is obstructed, especially when I sleep or um, riding motocross. Well, Melanie had nasal obstruction for uh, quite some time. Hers uh, was so severe that it was affecting her exercise endurance because the nose wouldn't open up enough to where she could even breathe easily through it. Um, I do struggle a lot with, with breathing while racing. I do try the nasal strips or squirting Afrin in my nose before. Um, however, that gets old and <laughs> I wish I didn't have to do that. Now, I use a coblation technology, we call it a, a coblation, a turbinate reduction uh, procedure. The actual procedure itself uh, takes maybe five minutes and then maybe another uh, 10 minutes that you're gonna sit there with uh, an Afrin soaked cotton ball in the nose. Uh, many patients notice an improvement in their breathing uh, before the two-week follow-up, uh, but for those that don't, uh, almost all of them notice uh, a significant improvement after that two-week follow-up. After the procedure, hopefully it will help me in my racing so I can race harder and faster and, and get some better sleep at night, especially the night before a big race. I think, I think many patients are very happy, and, and I think one thing that uh, that I would say my patients and, and maybe people in general need to know is that a nasal obstruction is a very common nighttime problem that is largely unrecognized. I mean, many individuals that snore, uh, many individuals that don't snore but wake up uh, tired, uh, not well rested, uh, that feel like they didn't get a good night's sleep uh, despite um, maybe sleeping eight or nine hours often do have unrecognized nasal obstruction. And those patients are great candidates for this kind of procedure. And I think, uh, and, and the people that I've treated like that have done very well.